Today we're installing a new part on the D-Max, which I believe every four-wheel drive should have, which is of course a easy to access fire extinguisher mount. Now this is something I've been meaning to get around to for a long time with the D-Max, but I could never quite make up my mind exactly where I wanted to put it, because you need it somewhere that's really quick and easy to access at a moment's notice, but you also don't want to put it somewhere that's going to be in your way. Now, my temporary storage solution, well, I say temporary, but it's been about two years now, has been to store this fire extinguisher in my rear door pocket just like this. And I gotta say, it actually does fit in there quite perfectly. And to be honest, that's a nice, quick and easy to access place to store it. But as I spend the next couple of months really decking this D-Max out for some more long distance touring, I'm looking for a more permanent and neat solution. And I've stumbled across an awesome bracket from Cap Industries that allows you to mount your fire extinguisher under your front passenger seat. So here is the bracket in question, nice and simple, not a lot to it. There's mounting holes on either end, those go over your factory seat bolt down spot, so I have to pull those bolts out of the car, slot this in and bolt it back down. Then we take the bracket that comes with our fire extinguisher, wherever you buy yours from, normally they come with a bracket. That bolts onto the front of this bracket and then our fire extinguisher clips in there and we are good to go. And we'll also mention I've got no affiliation whatsoever with Cap Industries. I literally just saw these online about a month ago and I was like, that is exactly what I need for the D-Max and it's a problem I've been trying to solve for a couple of years now. So when I saw this, I bought it straight away. And it's also nice to support a company that is Australian owned and the product is Australian made. So these cost $79 from the Cap Industries website. You can get them from different websites as well, but I'll, uh, I'll link the Cap Industries website in the description down below, which is where I bought mine from. And do also keep an eye on the Facebook groups too, because I noticed in the DMAX groups I'm a part of, they do occasionally put up discount codes, so you can save about 10% off uh, getting one for your vehicle. They are also vehicle specific, so this one's obviously to suit my uh, current model D-Max and probably also BT50s as well. But if you drive something different, make sure you check out the website to see if they make one for your vehicle. As for the installation, this should literally be a five minute job with some pretty basic tools. So all we're gonna need is something to unbolt the two bolts that are keeping the front seat in the vehicle. For the D-Max, they are Torx T50 bolts. So we'll just have this simple socket T50 piece here. And I'll be putting that on a breaker bar to give me a bit more leverage for those bolts because they can be quite tight. And then also to attach the fire extinguisher bracket to the mount, I've just got a couple of eight mil spanners, uh, but a basic socket set would also get this job done. Anything to tighten up those bolts really. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually, yeah, attach this fire extinguisher bracket to the mount. Then we can install it as one unit into the car. To do that, I'm just gonna line up the holes on the extinguisher bracket with the holes on the mount and fix them together with the included bolts. There we go, extinguisher and mount are now one solid piece. Time to get this into the car. The next thing we want to do is remove these two bolts from the front of the passenger seat here. Now, if you've never taken these bolts out before, they will be extremely tight. So it is worth using a proper tool like this breaker bar with this socket piece here to avoid stripping out uh, the inside of that bolt. I'm gonna keep this nice and straight, push down firmly, and then gently loosen off that bolt. Do the same on the other side here. Once you've cracked them, they're pretty easy to then finish off the rest of the way by hand. Okay, once you've removed those two bolts, we can then take our new fire extinguisher bracket. This is actually gonna slip underneath those seat brackets, and hopefully those holes will line up perfectly with those seat mounting points, which they do. Now that both those holes are lined up, we can chuck our seat mounting bolts back in, being very careful not to cross thread them as we do so. I'll get them done up most of the way by hand. And then get them nice and tight with the breaker bar. Well, there we go, job done. That fire extinguisher is in, installed, mounted, nice and secure down there, and actually pretty out of the way too. It's one thing I was a bit concerned about with this bracket was if it was gonna be annoying for the passenger to have this kind of in their footwell area, but just with me sitting here right now, I find my feet tend to naturally sit down the far end of the footwell, so I'm not too concerned with this taking up a bit of space in front of that passenger seat. Now the last thing to test now, of course, is how quick we can get that extinguisher out of the bracket. 
Oh my god, my engine's on fire. Oh. Whew, that was a close one. Well, I hope this video has at least got you thinking about where to mount your fire extinguisher. I will leave a link to that particular bracket in the description down below because I'm pretty happy with it and it's definitely ticked all the boxes for me. But if it's not your cup of tea, just make sure wherever you do choose to mount your extinguisher that A, everyone in your family knows where it is and B, it's somewhere nice and easy to access. Because at the end of the day, a couple of seconds could literally be the difference between putting your fire out and an absolute disaster. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.